Hello everyone. So for today's art session, we're gonna be looking at an artist called Roy Lichtenstein, who did some amazing pop art. Kind of like this top I've got on, it sort of has that comic book look about it. So we're gonna do our own pop art piece today. So what you're gonna need is paper, pencil, felt, and some paints to get started. So the thing you'll notice with these artworks that he's done, they've got really bold colors and strong edges. It looks very graphic. So we're going to draw in our basic image first, and then we're going to use a little bit of paint to add some color, and then finishing off with a dark, either black paint, fine edge around things, or we can use just a black felt marker to just do those edges, give it that graphic style. So what I thought would be fun is we've got two options. You can do the female or the male version of the artwork. The idea is that we create our own pop art character that represents something about us and how we're feeling at the moment. So we can do our character and then give it a little speech bubble or a thought bubble and it can say something that we might be feeling at the moment. So we can have our character looking a little bit upset and say, I'm sick of lockdown. Or we can have our character really happy saying, I love my family or whatever you want, however you're feeling. So something that you can express yourself through this artwork with the style. So this video is going to be a little bit different from normal because while you can just copy exactly what I'm doing, you may want to make it a little bit more personal and you can make the adjustments to how you want your character to look to make sure they are expressing something about how you're feeling at the moment. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the female character first. So we need to just draft out the head shape and where things are going to sit on our page. Now a really good way of making sure that we have everything to fit on our page is just a really basic tip I can give you for drawing faces. When you are going to draw a face, it's a good idea to do the shape of the face first, using the shape of the face as an oval. But that depends if it's facing you directly, like my face is now, or whether it's turned to the side, and you'll see it's a little bit different shaped. So depending on which kind of direction that your character's face is going to be, will change how you are going to draw that. So it may not be completely oval. The general rule for a face is, we do the oval shape, really nice and easy. Draw a line down the middle, cut it in half, and do all of this in pencil so it's nice and easy. And then we're going to do a line a third of the way across here, a third of the way across the circle, and this gives us where we're going to position things. So the nose is going to be coming down this cross here, so the nose is, is going to come down here, Our eyes are going to be positioned on either side of that. Obviously we know we have eyes on either side of the nose. Just make sure it's nice and central so we can pop our eyes in here on these lines. And then the lips coming halfway between the nose where the nose finishes and the chin. So just halfway between there. And this is where your mouth is going to be. Depending on the shape of your mouth. So this is how we position everything to make sure that it fits. So we have the forehead, the eyes in position, the nose and the mouth. Then we can go in and add our other details, eyebrows, eyelashes, any little wrinkles we might want to add into here. So that's the basic way to kind of capture your face. Then we can add the hair and everything onto that. So depending on what style of hair that you're going to be putting on. So we're going to just put a little fringe on here. 
and that hair, some of the hair is going to go over the oval and some of it is going to be on the outside of that. So that's just how you mark out your basic shape. It's the same for a man's face as for a woman's and that's a good place to get you started. Then you can start adding in other details in your background, your speech bubbles. Um, obviously you may want a neck um, or shoulders to add on to that. So I'm just going to go ahead and start doing my drawing of the female face. Oh. Okay, so our female face is slight, the one that I'm going to do is slightly turned to the side. I'm just going to put a line in here to show the direction of her face. We're going to need to leave some room for the hair. I'm just going to give ourselves a basic outline here and we can adjust it as we go. Hopefully we've left enough room for some hair across there. There is our oval shape. Now we're going to, this is her forehead. The eyes, we've got the centre line down here. Going to pop that in. Her head's slightly turned. So I will just, so that's going to be my centre line there. And then our eye line. Just going to pop across like that. My nose is going to be here, our mouth is going to be down here. So this is her little cheek. And we come down. That's going to be her chin. Nice. Okay. So we're going to put, we're going to have one eye here along our line. Now these eyes are sort of quite big, it's a characteristic of this type of artwork. You have quite big eyes, pointed at the end, curved around here. And then the other eye is going to be over here. Make sure our eyes are about the same size. Lovely. Then we've got the bridge of the nose. So with these cartoon styles, they just pop some lines in that position. They don't draw the whole nose. But we can imagine that whole nose there. Then we just have the tip of the nose marked out. And a little nostril there. We might just add a little curvy little bit there. Okay, and we'll go back to the eyes. We're, I'm going to give this lady quite the surprise look. So a surprise look, we have a small pupil inside a big white. We'll try and match those. It's like a little bit of a frightened eye. And we're going to put some eyelashes on. Her mouth, we've got our nice line coming down the middle here. So her mouth's going to be halfway between the nose and the chin, so somewhere around here. I'm going to give her an open mouth so she's a little bit surprised. We're doing the top lip here. And then we'll add the bottom lip. Teeth are just going to be a flock. And we have individual teeth in these kind of cartoony type looks. Now we put it, better put some eyebrows on her. Our eyebrows to get a little brightened, shocked kind of look. We're going to need to, to be a little bit creased down. She's crumpling her brow. Few little wrinkles here. Once we're happy with that, we'll just highlight that there. 
Now I think what we're going to do is add a little hand like she's going, oh, oh, a little shock here. So we'll just add a few little fingers. Okay, there's a little bit of a hand. And they're little fingernails, which we're going to make sure they're nice and bright. Let's start putting some hair on her. I'm going to give her some curly hair because that's what I've got. The curls. Just add some lines in. Not putting a lot of detail, just a few little lines just to show the direction that the hair is growing and all moving in. Let's go and we've got her part in the middle of her hair here. Let's show that. And we're going to have another curl. Yeah. Now we're going to put our caption, I'm going to put the caption here, this is the best kind of place on the page for that, we don't really have much room up here, so in here is going to be my caption, I'm going to put it in a box, whatever your caption might be, so what do I think, nice, they always use block letters, And I thought level three was going to end. Oh, shock horror. Okay, so there is your female outline for you to work on. You may want to do a different expression on your face. You might want a smiley face. You might want to add not frightened eyebrows, um, different versions. What I'll do is I'll pop some different expressions up on the screen for you so you can make some decisions about how you want your character to look. He or she may not have that expression, but that is the female character. So let's move on to the male version. Okay, so let's get started with the painting. We're going to block in some of the colour into our artwork first and then we're going to add the details afterwards. So you can see my pencil lines are really dark so that I'll be able to see them through the paint. So for this part of the painting we can just go for it. So we're going to do the skin in a really really light pink. Very light pink. So I'm just going to layer that skin colour all over that face. Now hopefully we'll still be able to see our pencil lines underneath there. We go over the eyelashes. Doesn't matter if we go over a few bits and pieces. Just get that colour on. Well, and then we the same colour, skin colour. Skin colour is on. While that's drying, we're just going to go and work on the hair. I'm going to go with yellow. Just fill in the hair. Now, this is quite different from some of the other artworks we've done where we're mixing lots of different colours in. This is the complete opposite. You only use one colour in each section. No blending in different colours together. We want it to have that graphic look, which means we just need to have it nice and bold and simple. Beautiful. Let's add the lips. 
and fingernails in red. It sound right, boy. And our blue for the eye. Make that a little bit light blue. And then some white. We've got white teeth. you can still see your pencil lines under there. So you can just go around and draw those back in. You really want to make sure that paint is dry before you start putting these black lines in. Now my paint is a little bit wet, but we seem to be doing all right. Pencil lines here. So I'm just going to go over those with the black and outline right, everything boy. in black. And give it that graphic style. Also do these black outlines with a pen if you wanted to once your paint is dry so once you've done your base color if you want to just do your outlines your black outlines with a pen that's also probably a really nice easy way to do it so do your um, color and with the paints then you need to wait for it to dry and then you can go back over with your black marker just to finish that off. There we go. Now we can do our writing. So I hope you enjoyed making your pop art lady. I would love to see what you created and the message that you put in your caption box. Please send us photos of what you've made and join us next time to make the pop art man. See you soon. Bye.